this is the circuit my friends okay this is the circuit so the circuit is for ram is for the ram we have the ram the circuit near to the ram means the circuit is for the ram this circuit we have duplicated channel means the circuit is for 3 volt 5 volt circuit here we have the processor we have two channels means for the processor this is for the pch guys i teach you how to locate, identify the circuits, just use your, your eyes. Here we have inductor, isolated inductor near to the battery connector. It means this is for battery connector. Okay? Okay, guys. Now, if you understand this video, you can fix any short circuit in the world. Any short circuit in any motherboard. Because I will teach you the process. Okay? Any short circuit, regardless of to kind of short circuit this is the power of teaching and learning the process but just using thermal camera and all that you can just remove the capacitor not this one remove this one not this one remove this one not this one maybe this ic remove it oh good good done but just for this laptop another laptop the short will be in the IC. Another laptop, the short will be in the electrolytic capacitor. Another could be in the PCH. But if you know the process, that's it. You can repair any short circuit, regardless of its difficulty. So, let's draw right now this circuit and then continue identifying the short circuit. This is a one video that you will need to understand the short circuit forever. Okay, we have the IC. Okay, guys, we have the IC. IC. Let's take, because the circuit is for the RAM, okay, because the circuit is for the RAM, we will call this IC RAM IC. Or RAM control IC. But the working principle is the same, because the circuit has or have the same structure we have the ic okay here we have the first mosfet okay guys always the drain of the mosfet connected to some filtering capacitors usually you'll find three and here we have the vn or basically we called it b plus okay nice then this MOSFET, the source of this MOSFET will be connected to what? To another MOSFET, to drain of another MOSFET here. Okay, my friends. The second or the lower MOSFET is always connected to the ground. Nice. These two MOSFETs are controlled, as you can see, by this as guys here i teach you the short circuit process here is here just sit tune it and be patient nice okay here we have the first mosfet q1 the second mosfet q2 basically these two mosfets i don't know if you see this mosfet or not these two mosfets are here guys here what i told you here i teach you and this is where you can learn electronics because we can just i can just see the circuit and draw it without schematic without anything we see the circuit i can draw it we can go from here to here or from here to here if we have schematic we can use it to understand the circuit if we don't have schematic no problem, no worries. I can even draw the schematic for any circuit here. Okay, guys, any circuit. This circuit, for example, we have two inductors. Here means we have IC. Here we have one channel in this side, one channel in this side. Two MOSFETs for this, two MOSFETs. Easy, very easy. Just stay tuned. You're going to understand everything in this channel electronic repair basics any just your likes and your motivation comment likes share okay so guys we have the ic we have the two mosfets basically these two mosfets okay we have the coil so the inductor or coil is this one this guy here 
is never connected to the ground. No connection with the ground. But for us, this one is connected to the ground. Means short. Nice. So this one here L. Let's see L. Okay, L one. Good. After that, we need here an electrolytic capacitor or a tantal capacitor. Where is it? Here. Let's see the other side. We don't have it here. Let's see the other side. Here, guys. Do you see? Guys, this side. It's not here. I have plus. This place is for what? Is for the electrolytic capacitor connected to the ground. I don't remove this electrolytic capacitor. This electrolytic capacitor is like this from the manufacturer. The motherboard is made like this. They don't fix uh, even here. Do you see? Even for this circuit here, we have plus. Electrical capacitor is not here, also here, also here. In this board, they don't use in some circuit electrolytic capacitor, like this one. But in the processor, yes, because the processor, all, everything should be right 100%. The voltages should be basically filtered 100%, not 90%, not 95%, but 100%. But here, no worries. Sometimes we don't use this one, no worries. Good. But for me, I will put this one. But once we don't have here the electrode capacitor, means, means guys, this one is excluded. This one is good. Once we don't have this one here, means don't worry about this one. The short will be here or here or here. Do I see also? The IC also is good. Why do I see it's good? What is the proof? The proof is this, my friends. I check the ceramic capacitors for the IC. Look, guys. I check the ceramic capacitors around the IC. I find it good ceramic capacitors. It's not shorted. It's not shorted in both sides. Okay? Let's do it again. Guys, this is the, the IC. The RAM IC. If we check, guys, do you see? Shorted in this side because this side is connected to the ground here. Do you see? But here, it's not shorted. It's not shorted here. Here connected to the IC, it's not shorted. This one also. It's not shorted in this side. But shorted in this side because it is connected to the ground. Because all we sell capacitors are connected to the ground in one side and connected to the IC in the other side. Means it's not shorted. Means the IC is good. 100%. Okay? I can even do like this. Can even do like this, my friends. Okay. Uh, just to don't make beginners confused. One probe here. The other here. Do you see? We get a reading for the serum capacitor. This one also. Reading. Good. This one also. Good. This one. Good. The IC is not shorted. If the IC is the shorted one, the capacitors are not shorted. I will prove to you, my friends, here. Here we work with proof. With process, we work here using the process and using proof, not just randomly. Do I see all serum capacitors around the IC are connected to the IC in one side and to the ground in the other side, like this. Another serum capacitor here connected to the IC in one side and to the ground in the other side. Another serum capacitor here, my friend, as you can see. And the IC itself is connected to the ground. So, if the IC is the shorted one, okay, if the IC is shorted, these capacitors will be shorted. But once these capacitors are not shorted, as we have seen here, okay, my friends, as we have seen, once these capacitors around the IC is not shorted, means the IC is good 100%. The electrode capacitor 100% is good because 
simply because we don't have it. As you see, my friends, here, this is the circuit. The electrode capacitor is not installed from the source, not installed. Like other, as you can see, channels, not installed. Okay, so the, this one is excluded, the IC is excluded. Let's continue, my friends. We find that the IC is good. Okay, nice. So this is the circuit, basically. Now, let's locate this component. Now, guys, I mean, okay, here, here we have the inductor. This is basically, here we have basically the input. Over here we have the input, guys. If you understand this, if you understand this schematic, one time learning or one circuit for all circuits. I can, I can call it one circuit for all circuits. Means if you understand just this circuit, you can understand repair short in every motherboard. In every motherboard, regardless of if the motherboards the short is partial, is uh, a dead short, is any kind of shorts. Okay. So here we have the input, here we have the output. Here, guys, we have the output inductor, this one. We have the electrode capacitor, this one is not installed. Then here we have what? Finally, here we have what we need. The voltage for the RAM. Let's see RAM VDD. Okay, RAM VDD. This is the output. The voltage for the RAM will be generated. But unfortunately, for this motherboard, the voltage cannot be generated. Why? Because simply we have a short. We have zero here. We have a short. So the RAM VDD will not be generated. 